Alright, this is my first impressions of the new Beta 1 Ubuntu Classic. This is not the Unity, of course. I just wanted to start off with the Classic because this is what where I'm from. You know, this this is what I'm used to. And I kind of want to, you know, show people what's the difference between this and the other, you know, the, the previous uh, version. Um, you know, there are some subtle differences, of course. It's very, very simplistic. And... As you notice uh, on top, you know, there's no, uh, the standard menus they have, you know, the applications, places, system. It's all, you know, in this little uh, menu right here, little drop down menu. And uh, I went ahead and installed some personal stuff just to see how, how the install process was okay. And, and I, didn't, I didn't have any crashes, so I installed GIMP. And uh, I also installed my recorder, of course, and, uh, and the codexes. <clears throat> and everything went smooth and, and fine and um... let's see what's on the right hand side here of course you have your clock but it's a little bit different as you can see um... like when you click on a uh, add event it launches i believe it launches evolution and i, I want to test this out later because of course i stopped using evolution so i'm not too sure if the new email client that I use now is uh, it's called Postler so I don't know if that will integrate to there so I'll try it later and if it does I'll leave a comment but uh, anyways let me close this off and in the start menu here you have Banshee and your preferences so if you click on Banshee which is the new default music player so hopefully it'll start There's, there it goes All right, let's click on uh, Ubuntu One. All right, here you go. So if I were to play something like, uh, you know, let's pick whatever, Eminem. Click the play button. All right, let me lower it down just a second. And close. Let me close this off. Pause it. So all that works, and I, I it looks like it's highlighted too. It's a little bit different. The pause menu and the, the controls. So that's pretty cool. I mean, they, they they changed it up a bit. It's still roughly the same thing. And I read some posts that you can. Oh, there it's right here. I didn't see that. You can choose your your playlist now. So that's pretty good. I mean, they're improving it. And as you can see on top, there's also a uh, a global menu now. And um, I'm I'm very familiar with global menus. I use them a lot. I used them a lot in the past. But you know, you may not like it. You know what I mean? Having to uh, switch between, say, like, say, like how you got this menu here, and it, and it's it's to this application. And you click on your desktop, and it disappears. And you gotta click back on your application again to get to this one more time, you know, you know what I'm saying, you gotta be, you know, click here, then you know, click back in here to get back to, to your options here, so, that can be a little bit of a nuisance, you know what I mean, and if you want to, like, launch an application, you gotta go in here, your, your little menu, and just like before, and, um, it, like, your system and preferences are way down here, where it says system, preferences, administration, and it's kind of hard to get to, it's not as easy as before, where you just clicked on the on the places I'm not places the uh, system menu so I, I'm thinking what they did to, to solve that issue they, they added this over here where it says system settings and that wasn't there before of course and, uh, and there it is and it's all all of your stuff is uh you know in this one little nice menu and they also added the uh, the snapping feature similar to Windows 7 but for some reason this is not not going exactly 50 50 you know half screen so let me try with something else let me open up my uh, home folder places a uh, home folder and drag it over here so that works full screen and this okay that works very well of course it seems maybe some applications are not exactly perfect yet you know for that that a feature but um, also I noticed cosmetically um, 
is the uh, the shadows. And I think it's a cool little feature what they did. So let me get a, the calculator here. So if I put my calculator over this, you're gonna notice the drop shadow is pretty pretty wide. And the one the application be below it, which is my home folder, is uh, not. And it kind of gives this new cool little uh, like a 3D effect, I guess. So if I were to click on my home folder, see how the shadow changes. So that's pretty trick. You know, I kind of like that. That looks that looks really nice. Um, so that's a plus. As far as the global menu, it's kind of a I'm used to using a dock, so when I do have my global menu, you know, all my stuff is at the bottom, so so that'd be pretty cool. But since Unity has a, a dock, you know, already built in, you know, it's I don't, I, I don't know yet. I haven't tried Unity yet, but I don't think that would be much of a problem. But uh, but yeah. Oh, and also, I went ahead and I installed the uh, the Compiz settings, the Compiz Config Manager, Administration Preferences, and uh, Let's see. Earlier, um, I tried to enable the cube, and it and it crashed on me. <laughs> so I don't know what's the deal with that. Maybe they're not going to have the cube anymore. I I don't know. Um, you can still do your wobbly windows and stuff. And I I also installed like extra plugins, and I don't really see anything extra. It just it seems like they took out quite a bit. So that's a little bit of a bummer for me. You know, it's kind of on the customized side of it it's kind of kind of lacking on the on the window effects and stuff but but uh, we'll see what happens with the final and uh, let's see what's this unity grab handles click on that toggle handles disable enable grab combination try super space okay Oh, there he goes. What the hell is that? Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, okay. I think I saw a video about this not too long ago. That's. Well, oh, it's not working now. Huh. That's weird. I guess that'll be that uh, good for uh, test screens. You disable that. So. You know, it's just still the uh, it's still the traditional GNOME. It's just that it's because of I guess Unity. It has to be a little bit modified, you know, because of the the compass settings and stuff like that to to adapt to the the new Unity dock. So some things are a little bit lacking. The mainly the the settings, but overall it's pretty much the same thing. You know, you can still right click on on your uh, panel here, you know, and remove and add and and stuff like that so if you're just you know if you still if you basically use a standard Ubuntu uh, desktop on your on your on your 1010 without any heavy modifications and this should be just fine you know there's nothing really wrong with it you know I like it it's 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 a step forward you know in a way but at the same time with some of the settings I noticed a little bit you know a step backwards too so I'm kinda at a at a loss here trying to describe this but overall it's good you know especially the sound menu I'm digging that that's really good just the, the whole uh, trying to nav navigate through here is a little bit cumbersome I guess trying to you know get your little preferences and stuff then once you realize you know it's over here your settings and even in here it's still kinda you still gotta look it's not as easy as the whole drop down menu so, but it's there, you know, they, they at least they made the effort to put it somewhere <laughs> so you can get to it. So that's good. Okay, and uh, also it has lock screen, log out, shut down. Okay, that's cool. It's a little bit easier. So what else can I say about this? Let me right click on a desktop for a second and see what they have. I'm sure they have, ooh, there's no uh, special effect settings. That's That's different. So it is. They are taking some stuff out. So you have some cool little desk, uh, desktop wallpapers. Let me just try this. You know, I know it's just cosmetic and it's no big deal, but they always seem to do a good job with their their art selection. 
so yeah I mean it's nice go back to the default their theme is of course the standard ambience and their radiance as before and I don't see a difference in this there was a difference between in um, I'm sorry 1004 and 1010 you know the the buttons look a little bit different but this one they look identical to the previous I don't see any difference at all so so but actually I, the, the themes are no big deal because you can always there's tons of themes out there to change but but uh, yeah it's pretty much the same thing and the fonts are the uh, are their default Ubuntu um, font so so yeah I mean it's a good thing it's not too bad you know I'm kinda disappointed with the whole compiz settings and stuff like that but it's still a beta so I don't know what's gonna happen next and I'm sure probably somebody out there is gonna figure out a way to to unlock some things of course so I'm not really too worried about it now but overall it's a thumbs up alright so now I'm gonna boot into unity and I have no experience with that whatsoever so it's gonna be like a first really really first time impressions on that as well so I'm curious so stay tuned for that one